Hi, and welcome to the new channel, Beyond Tomorrow. This is where we talk about sustainability, environment, and climate change news from around the world. If you'd like to stay up to date, as well as support this channel, and you've got an interest in new technologies, new sustainable products, or different techniques from around the world to improve sustainable practices or policies from governments around the world, please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so that you're notified every time we put up a new video. So let's jump right into it. Let's have a look at news from around the world related to sustainability and climate emissions. And let's have a quick chat about how the current crisis is affecting greenhouse gas emissions. It won't come as a surprise to many of you that global oil demand is down. 75% of the global oil demand increase in 2019 came directly from China. So you can imagine the impact that the current crisis is having on the oil demand. The expected increase in 2019 was 1.19 million barrels of oil per day. Now fortunately that's down to about 825,000 barrels per day, but that's still a significant oil increase. Unfortunately, around the world, other devastating events have contributed to an increase in the CO2 within the atmosphere. The recent devastating bushfires in Australia are estimated to increase the carbon within the atmosphere somewhere between 0.02 and 0.05 ppm. That's not a significant increase, but every increase matters. Climate scientists in the UK have estimated that an increase of two degrees would correspond with an additional 20 to 30 days of very high fire danger in Australia. There is some good news coming out of the European Union, however. The amount of coal used to generate electricity is down by 24%. That's led to a decrease of almost 17% in total emissions within the electricity production sector there. Now onto something completely different. Over in the US, it seems that fears around the EPA disassembly have been justified, with a survey of about 114 oil refineries showing that over 10 of them have significantly higher benzene emissions than the EPA allows. The EPA requires that benzene emissions within the atmosphere stay below three parts per billion. Some of the worst offending oil refineries have been measured five times as high, up to 15 parts per billion. Benzene is a known carcinogen and can cause cancer in people in the surrounding areas. It seems that the worst affected areas are the ones with the least regulation. Texas, New Mexico, Philadelphia. It just demonstrates that strong regulation is very important to keep industry honest. If you've got a story of some fantastic or very poor regulation in your area, regardless of where it is around the world, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Now to something a little bit closer to home for me. The state of Victoria in Australia is establishing a hydrogen export terminal, which is a fantastic piece of infrastructure for clean energy export around the world. We all know that Australia has abundance of energy when it comes to solar and wind, but we're geographically located a long way from everywhere else. That means we need to establish ways to be able to export our clean energy around the world to help others go clean. Now it's not without controversy. The hydrogen that will be generated and exported initially will be through steam reforming of fossil fuels. Now this means that we rely on political policy in order to transition the system over from a steam reforming system where it uses fossil fuels over to a clean electrolysis system that uses electricity and water to produce the hydrogen from renewable energy generated from solar and wind throughout Australia and delivered there via the national energy market. Now the best way that you or I can influence that public policy is having conversations with our friends, our family, our work colleagues, to make sure that they are aware of the importance of voting in politicians with strong track records when it comes to action on climate change. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider subscribing, leave a thumbs up, and make sure you leave a comment below. I'd love to hear your suggestions about future videos and any contributions that you can make in terms of news articles 
or ideas for future episodes. Thanks for joining me. And just remember, the world can be a better place, but we all have to think beyond tomorrow.